Hello everyone, this is Wun Hing. Today you'll see how to make a delicious curry laksa, also known as curry mee in your own kitchen. Do you usually gravitate towards certain food based on the weather? I certainly do. And this curry laksa is actually perfect for any weather. So let's see how to make this today. For toppings, I'm using king oyster mushrooms that I simply tore into pieces. Saute the mushrooms with a little bit of oil over low heat. Once the mushrooms release its aroma and start to turn brown, season it with a pinch of salt. And if you don't like mushrooms, just replace it with other ingredients. Transfer them to a bowl and set aside. For the next topping, I'm using Japanese eggplant that I cut into about 2 inch matchstick size. Fry them in hot oil for about 45 seconds or so, and I did mine in two batches. Then remove the eggplant and drain them on a paper towel to absorb the excess oil like this. I also made some wontons that I filled with sauté cabbage and carrot. Fry the wontons and remove them from the oil as soon as they turn slightly golden because the hot oil will actually continue to brown the wrapper even after you dish them out. Drain them on a paper towel as well. To make the curry, I'm using my homemade sambal and if you would like the recipe, the video link is in the caption, or you can actually use any store-bought Malaysian curry paste that you like. Since my sambal is not that spicy, I use about a quarter cup in this recipe. Let the sambal dissolve a little and slowly add in the vegetable stock. I use about six cups, but you can adjust it accordingly based on your preference. Then cover the pan with a lid and bring the mixture to a rolling boil. If you like tofu puffs like me, then add it here so they have time to absorb the curry flavor. Add in the coconut milk and I'm using canned coconut milk that has about 70% of coconut extract. Season it with umami seasoning and salt, then let it cook for about 5 minutes. It's highly recommended to add some curry leaves for the aroma, but if you can't find them, you can just skip it. Add in the eggplant and let the curry simmer for another 5 minutes. Look at the vibrant color of this curry. And by now, you can actually smell the aroma from the spices and the sweetness from the coconut milk. Next, blanch bean sprouts, long beans, and yu choy or choy sum in hot water for a quick 30 seconds and then set aside. Cook the noodles of your choice as directed. And here, I'm using fresh ramen that I got from the store. You can actually use rice noodles or any type of noodles that you like. Then transfer the cooked noodles to a serving bowl. To serve, ladle the hot curry and the vegetables over the noodles and top it with fried wontons and the rest of the ingredients. And I like mine with some lime juice. There you have it, a tasty curry laksa mee is done. I hope you give this dish a try, and if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification too. Thanks for watching, and have a beautiful day. Bye!